How to avoid choking in table tennis. A player asked me, hi coach, how can I stop choking in a match? It's my mental problem. Yes, it's a very good question, because table tennis mental preparation is very important. You're not the only one dealing with this. During a match, every player feels tightness at some point. Your emotional level has to rise. First, you have to be able to understand what that feels like. Do professional table tennis players choke? Yes, we are all human. Lin Gaoyuan, the professional player from China, often chokes at the important moment. His techniques are superior, but his mental strength is weak. He lost in the winning situation. So here is a rare example of the comeback of Lin Gaoyuan. What is choking in sport? In sports, choking is when an athlete makes a big, unexpected mistake in a high-stakes situation. When a professional fails, they often act like they know nothing. Here, we look at why we choke and how to avoid it. So why would a top athlete play like a beginner all of a sudden? Because choking is a type of reversion in the mind. You lost all of the attention in the table tennis match. You lost focus and concentration. A complicated task that you were doing without thinking about it suddenly becomes very clear, and your conscious brain can't handle how hard it is. And now that your conscious brain is busy trying to figure out the details of something you used to know. When you shifted your attention, you went from being an expert to a beginner in an instant. How to avoid choking? To avoid choking you need the right practice. Have you ever noticed that you're less nervous when you're playing someone who isn't as good as you and you're sure you'll win? So, as you get better, more players will be at a lower level than you, and you'll feel less nervous. 01. Reduce stress. You can reduce stress when you think only about one point, but not the match outcome. Be realistic about your standard. Be honest about your skill level. Don't think you can play better than you can. And don't think you can be sluggish and lazy in practice and then play well in games. You can only play as well as you practice. 02. Do your favorite routine. Do something that you feel the most confident in. Make a small routine so you don't have to think too hard about what you're doing when you're not doing it. For example, you might bounce the ball or twist your bat. You could even sing a song about it or say some slogan. The slogan of Ping Sunday is, In Spin We Trust. This will boost your confidence. Or in some hard situation, you can think about me. Say something like, Thank you, Coach Amrat Tick. 
Slow down. Slow down. Zero three practice under pressure. When you practice under high pressure, you'll gain the skills you'll need to handle pressure when it comes. In a friendly match, you should think that this is the final of the Olympics match. Always think that you are Ma Long. And your opponent is Fan Jindong. Do your best in the friendly match. So, anything you can do in practice to make the pressure higher will make it less likely that you will choke in a game. Anything that makes you feel more pressure will help you in the real thing. 04 Slow down. Slow down to regain the calm. Take slow, deep breaths to calm your nerves and your breathing. When you're nervous, you tend to breathe quickly and shallowly, so taking slow, deep breaths will help you calm down. Go away and practice with these tips in mind to make sure you are mentally tough enough when you need to be. I'm Amrat Tick. If you found my free coaching advice helpful, please support me, Coffee or Patreon. Your support motivates me a lot. See you in the next videos. Read more about table tennis on my blog, pingsunday.com. Get free ebook and coaching advices. See you in the next video.